my research focus is predominantly on understanding how adenovirus interacts with the host cell. So that means how the virus gets into the cell, how it changes the cell to aid in virus replication, how it evades innate immune pathways, and then how it gets out and spreads. In addition to that, because adenovirus is a DNA tumor virus, although it is not associated with human cancer, it targets many of the same mechanisms that are deregulated during cancer development. We use that virus to study how cancer develops and how we can learn more about cancer using virus, essentially using it as fine dissecting tweezers to dissect those important regulatory pathways in the cell that can promote or inhibit cancer development. After the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the Government of Canada identified many shortcomings in Canada's preparedness. Chief amongst those was lack of manufacturing capacity for vaccine production within Canada. So we had to rely on external partners and other governments, other nations essentially, to provide us with all the vaccines that we needed. To alleviate this problem, the government has set up two major initiatives called the Canada Biomanufacturing Research Fund, or CBRF, and the Biomedical Research Infrastructure Fund, or BRIF, for building Canada's independence in vaccine research and manufacturing. I participate in the establishment of the Prairie Pandemic Preparedness Hub that includes University of Manitoba, University of Alberta, Calgary, and the University of Saskatchewan. And as part of that hub, we applied for the funding for both the research and infrastructure aspect from the Government of Canada to prepare us better to respond to future pandemics. So that includes research into developing new vaccines that we can manufacture within Canada, uh, as well as building infrastructure that will allow us to manufacture those vaccines, building Canada's vaccine manufacturing capacity to ensure future independence and ability of our government to respond to future health crises such as the COVID-19 pandemic. Our goal is to develop vaccines not just for and manufacture vaccines not just during uh, health crises or health, health emergencies. We want to develop new safe vaccines that are easy inexpensive, easy to administer and overcome much of the vaccine hesitancy that has grown quite significantly since the pandemic. We are developing vaccines that would be administered via either the nasal or oral route, which is the natural entry point for many pandemic causing or pandemic potential pathogens. This hopefully would make it easier to administer without the associated hesitancy where people are afraid of shots or they think getting injection of something that they're not familiar to them seems scary or, or unnatural. As we are aware now, there is H5N1 avian influenza that is spreading amongst cattle and uh, is affecting the milk industry and the beef industry in the United States. We hope to have a vaccine that can be administered to cows to prevent infection of cows, but then that can also maybe be used for humans in case this virus arises as a, a fall surge of, say, influenza infection. The best way is to go into science. <laughs> you know, Faculty of Science has some uh, really amazing and interesting courses and then approach researchers. Winnipeg and Manitoba has a, a, a hub for infectious disease research, both here at the Faculty of Science, downtown, as well as the affiliated institutions like NML and CFIA. So by studying science, taking courses in science, approaching scientists with your questions or interests, always is very welcome. We're always very open to taking people in and uh, if you're interested, just reach out to, to a professor that does work that interests you or go into science and then you will be able to see what uh, different uh, research is done at the university and then you can explore and inquire about potentials to coming to the lab as an undergraduate student, as a co-op student, as a volunteer or ultimately as a graduate student as well.